imagine with me, your local waste removal company has gone on strike. The rubbish that you normally put into the wheelie bin outside your front door gradually begins to accumulate. And before long, it's cluttering up your front doorstep and piling up around your garden footpath. Your garden gets infiltrated by rats, your property price plummets, and you die of a broken heart. <laughs> this tragic scenario is a really good picture of what's going on at a cellular level in the disease <coughs> I'm working on called Fabry disease. This is caused by a mutation in a gene called GLA that codes for an enzyme responsible for the breakdown of waste within the, within the wheelie bin of the cell called the lysosome. So, enzyme deficiency leads to cell death. The clinical symptoms of this are life-threatening. Uh, treatment is currently available, but it is not uh, very effective. But what if we could cure this disease by inserting into patient cells a correct copy of the GLA gene? Well, this is the whole principle behind gene therapy. And to that end, my lab previously have developed a virus that contains the gene. My research has found that by inserting the GLA gene into human cells using the virus leads to a dose-dependent increase in the activity of the enzyme. At a low virus dose, the enzyme is equally efficient at removing waste from the wheelie bin as in normal healthy control cells. But at a high virus dose, it's significantly less effective. This is akin to a single workman focused on his job, being much better at, a, at emptying your wheelie bin than a whole group of workmen too busy chatting in their new pickup truck. <laughs> in other words, less is more when it comes to gene therapy. But now looking to the future, previous research has showed that the uh, power station of the cell called the mitochondria is damaged in Fabry disease. I want to find out whether by inserting the GLA gene into, those pa into patient cells using the virus, I can see uh, a repair of the mitochondria, restoring cellular mojo, enabling healing and saving the lives of future Fabry disease patients. Thank you very much.